I'm Zach. This is The Average Christian and want to talk to you quickly about classes. Aren't you tired of being classified? Because I am. I'm tired of hearing about classifications. The Bible talks about, for those of us who are Christians, talks about us being unified. But we have classifications in religion. We have classifications according to race, according to gender, according to all these different ways to divide each other up. And you know that a lot of people, either in politics or media, use these classifications to divide us and to get us to argue so they have their sound bites or their video clips of us not getting along because that sells but I'm tired of the classes. Now there's a lot of places I could go, but Romans chapter two and verse six talks about these two classes that really only exist. And it's very simple and it will be simple for all of us when we get to the end, when judgment comes, when when we meet our death, there's just gonna be these two, right and wrong. And he talks about this and I want you to be able to uh, forget about all these other classifications especially when it comes to you and also when you're looking at other people and try to see people the way God does. Now, it's, it's so important. I'm trying to, to just streamline this and not get into all the other things that are going on right now. But he says in verse six, he will render to each one according to his works. That's you. He's going to ask you about you and you're going to have to give your account about your life and how you've lived and so forth. To those who by patience and well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, he will give eternal life. If that's what you're looking for, that's what you're going to get. But for those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, there will be wrath and fury. There will be tribulation and distress for every human being who does evil, the Jew first and also the Greek. But glory and honor and peace for everyone who does good, the Jew first and also the Greek. God shows no partiality, meaning God didn't play favorites. God didn't have a favorite race, though some have acted like that. God didn't have a favorite gender. God didn't have a favorite class. God didn't have a favorite as far as power or success or prestige or whatever other classification you can think of. He doesn't show any partiality. There's just two groups. You're either right or wrong. And try to remember that as it regards you, first of all, think about how you're living. Are you right or wrong in your reaction to what's going on and to, to watching other people who are doing wrong, who are acting in ways they shouldn't be acting. Are, are you reacting in a way that sheds light, that, that lights the way to God? Or are you falling right into the same traps as well? There's so much more that can be said, but this verse is talking about those two classifications. You are either good by God's standards or evil by God's standards. And I'm hoping that you will pay attention to you because I can't control what else goes on in the world. There's always, as long as the world exists and the devil exists, there's always going to be evil out there, but I can't control me. You can control you. And I hope you'll pay attention to this and simplify it all down and ask where you stack up and try to get as many other people into this classification of good according to God before you leave here. 